I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And tonight we have a Hill Farmstead brew, Twilight of the Idols. This is a porter with coffee aged on vanilla beans. It's 7.2% ABV. And this one comes courtesy of Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff sent me a text that he, uh, he went up there. He's a hops man and he got something that wasn't too hoppy and offered it and it jumped on it. So thanks, Jeff. Do you know if it's like uh, Madagascar vanilla beans? Or does it say? It I don't think so. Vanilla. I think it just says vanilla beans, but okay. anyway. It's a porter, so it's a little thin. You yeah. can kind of tell, but that's okay. Pretty dark. I mean, brown kind yeah, of- Yeah, the head's kind brown of around the around the edges there, tan head. All right. Let's get the aroma. Ooh. So much coffee. That's big coffee. So much coffee. It's nothing but coffee. Hard to get past it, I isn't it? I don't get anything else but coffee. <laughs> Just get, robust, and I, during the pour, I mean, that's what was just kind of wafting from the glass was just coffee. Yeah, I don't get any chocolate. I don't get any vanilla. I just get a lot of coffee. All right, well, cheers. Let's hope there's some in there. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. It's got a good mouthfeel for a porter. Great creamy mouthfeel. Yeah. Was the first thing I was noticing. <sighs> mouthfeel is phenomenal. I keep going back to mm -hmm. that. Definitely coffee, not as robust as I was getting on the mm -hmm. nose. Definitely get a little bit of vanilla in there, nice roastiness there, roasted coffee. Yeah, I get and, roasted coffee too. Um, um, not the peppery espresso, right. but just more roasted yeah, coffee. Yeah, roasted coffee. A little bit of just bitterness kind of sitting on the, coffee bitterness sitting on the tongue mm -hmm. as I'm, as I'm sitting here. Very pleasant beer though. It is. Very pleasant drink. A lot I of it's the mouthfeel. I get very things. minimal vanilla though, if any. I mean, it's, it's really hard to find. Yeah. But if you just call this a coffee porter, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a great coffee porter. I just, I mean, this is one of the best mouthful porters I've ever had in my life. I, it's good. It starts off mm. strong with that. I'm getting some vanilla now. I As guess used to that coffee. I must be getting used to the coffee. Yeah, I'm getting hints of it in the back as well. That's mm. a really good coffee vanilla porter. Mm-hmm. A mouthfeel. That was I can't get probably past really that. hard to get with. I mean, coffee yeah. and porter. I mean, yeah. both of those make it kind of thin. Yeah. Yeah, but they did a really good job on this. Mm. This is a nice, tasty one. Um, Who? Now, see, now you have to decide. Well, are we going to rate great. it based <laughs> on based on style? Yeah. I mean, so for a coffee porter, I, I I would want to give it a four or five, uh -huh. but I just don't like porters as much as I like stouts and IPAs yeah. and so it's kind of hard to give it that but I'm gonna mm. stick with that four or five is a good number. I did too I, I, the aroma was just so robust mm. Good uh, coffee. mouthfeel is unbeatable uh, for this porter mm -hmm. coffee shines through a little bit more vanilla as you get into it it's one of the best porters I've had uh, really dig this would search it out cinnamon after. too but I don't get the cinnamon oh it does thing. yeah I didn't realize that caramel oh those are malts caramel chocolate malt oh yeah I didn't realize there was cinnamon in it but mm. Maybe a hint, but again, the coffee. Yeah, really the coffee is the star in this one. The coffee in the mouth, though. Goodness gracious. Uh, I'm going to go four or five as well. I really dig this. That's really good. Thanks again, Jeff. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's a nice treat. And after this, we have his big brother, not just big brother, his big, <laughs> his big brother, uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Ooh. Porter. Mm. So that'll be nice. Stay tuned. Anything else? Hope it's better. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.